I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be drawing a <laughs> rich octopus. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so grab something to draw with and something to color with, and let's make some art. Octopus. Oh yeah. Guys, we only got five days left. You can do this if you have been doing this with me every single day. My friend, so excited. Day 25 of the June Drawing Bonanza Challenge where I challenge you to show up with me because every single day for the month of June, I am posting a new video. So, today we are going to be drawing again an octopus. What kind of octopus? Let's do a rich octopus. <laughs> And if you heard me yesterday, I am making these designs up on the spot as I go. That's how I roll. You're watching me make art, and that's how I roll in my own studio with my own artwork. So this is always, this is just artist flow right here. I'm in the creative flow I'm making. All right, start off with a big curvy line for the octopus's head. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Let's start off with five legs for now. I know there are eight but some might be on the other side of the body. I might be not be able to see them, All right? There's a head blocking it. So we're gonna see what this looks like first, and then I can always add more depending on how things go. All right, we're gonna bring these legs in. So we're gonna bring them back like triangles, but curved. I'm gonna go overlap these two. They're kind of laying on top of each other here. Maybe I can add now this is where we're gonna be strategic. We're just gonna sit here, and yours is gonna be different than mine, right? At, ooh, Mr. Tastic, what happened there? That leg got crazy, crazy. So we're just gonna, we gotta go with the flow and see how your legs kind of fall, fall into place. Just see what, how they fall into place. They might need to be, you can add more in, you might need to, like here I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll add more in. And another one, see? That's why I start off with five, and you just kind of see what looks good, maybe you need more, and then you just make it work for yours. And that's how you just do what looks good for you. Now I can add number eight there. Now I got eight legs, so it's a little bit shorter because I'm imagining it, it's like farther away, but like depth-wise. Even though this paper is flat, it's all the same distance, I'm making that illusion. All right, along the bottom of all my octopus, Bust legs. I'm gonna add a little whew, second layer here of line. That way I can get more than one value going, right? For the underside, it can be lighter. If you really wanna get crazy, you can add all the tentacles on there by adding some ovals. I'm just gonna add a few here and there. I'm not going to do the whole shebang. But if you want to, you sure can go for it. That's one way to add detail to your artwork. Ooh, sorry, I just off the page on you. All right, this is a rich octopus, so it's gonna be holding some dollar dollar bills. But if they're just dollar bills, then it's gonna need a lot of dollars. Maybe they're like hundred dollar bills, or do they come? I don't know. Maybe this is a one dollar bill. Add a decimal in there. And it's different. See, this is a hundred. There's no decimal. You add one decimal in there, it's a very big difference, even though it's the same numbers. That's the power of decimals, guys. That's why decimals are important to learn. If you're like, why am I learning about decimals? Well, this is a one zero zero with a dollar sign, and this is a one zero zero with a dollar sign. But that's one dollar. This is a hundred dollars. There's a big difference. I rather have the hundred dollars. That's why it's important. Okay, let's do a five dollar bill. He's rich though, so maybe I need another $100 bill. This one's gonna be a thousand. Oh. Whoa, place value, place value. You didn't think you were gonna do math today. Guess what? It happened. Okay, we gotta make uh, some line all over, just as you know. This octopus is getting crazy with some money today with its one dollar bills and stuff, you know. One dollar, hundred dollars, five bucks. 
What do we got here? A thousand bucks? One. Yeah, we got a. We got, we got a good haul here. That's a good haul. All right. We'll probably buy a PlayStation 5 with that. Okay. It's, it's seeing money, so we gotta give it some fancy eyeballs. We're gonna draw some dollar signs for eyes today. So we start off with an S. It's an easier way to draw it. I'm gonna thicken it up so we can see it clearly, right? We gotta be, if we're drawing something, we gotta do it with purpose. Don't just do it a little willy nilly. Do it with purpose. Do everything that you do with purpose. Otherwise, why are you doing it? There, those are dollar sign eyeballs. That's with purpose, yo. Okay, mouth. Yeah, let's do cool mouth. Line with the U. Draw some X's. Whoa, too many X's, Mr. Tastic. What did I do here? I don't know. Something. I did something. Do 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 color in the middle ones. Except I should not have done this. I'm not gonna cut that. There we go. Fix my mistake. It's gonna happen at some point that I make mistakes, but I work with it! Because mistakes are okay, they help you learn. All right, add detail. Go around the edges. I'm gonna add some lines here and there. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And if you want, you can add some other choice details. Maybe some spots. Maybe it's wearing a top hat. Oh yeah, let's do that. And see, I'm just drawing right on top, guys. It's okay. Why not? Why not? Because this is a cool thing about Sharpie. Well, and also it's a top hat. I knew it's gonna be black. Not much doubt in that. This is how you just start adding yours flavor. Like maybe you don't want a top hat, maybe yours is wearing a toque. Cause it's a Canadian octopus and it's cold out. I don't know. I don't know, whatever it is. You do you. Now, that's an octopus. But you didn't think, oh, I'm gonna log in today and I'm gonna draw an octopus like this, did you? Didn't see that coming. All right, once you're done, go ahead and color in the octopus with some your favorite colors. You can do the same colors as me, but you do not have to because your artwork is your artwork and mine is mine. And that's the cool thing about us is that we're all different with different interests, wanting to enjoy different colors. I see my octopus as red. I mean orange. I actually didn't want to do a red octopus, but all my artist loft reds are no more. Let me tell you. Yeah, I dropped that one in there again. June drawing bonanza challenge. Oh my gosh, anybody here come every single day? Was that you? If you came every single day, like this video. That way I can see how many people have come every single day during this drawing bonanza. If you're looking at that ticker right now, it says zero. Well, well that's sad for me. <laughs> uh, hey, but that happens in YouTube sometimes, you know. No, uh, also. I got made for kid content on here. It's a mostly kids channel. <laughs> Woo! There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, what else? What else? What else? I need a different color. What am I gonna use? This one. I'm gonna use this one often. I gotta find all the colors I don't use often, give them some like happiness here. I always pick the same. You know how sometimes you get your babes, whether it's a crayon box, a paint color, and then all of a sudden you look and all all the things you're doing is that color. I always pick the same one over and over again. And it's usually the one that's gone from your pencil box all of a sudden. You're like, oh my gosh, where my pen? Where did that color go? It's my favorite color. Anyway, that's what happened to me too. I feel you. So now I'm gonna try to get out of my groove by using some colors I don't usually use. That's a good way to do it, isn't it? I'm coloring in my little round tentacles. For some reason, this is making me really hungry. I don't know why. Don't know why. But, oh! It's missing a color. 
Actually, you know what? I don't have gray. Let's use blue to shade. Yeah, that's okay. I don't got much gray left, so I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use blue to shade today. Because I can. Why? It's my art and I can do what I want. You don't have to use gray and black to shade everything, so why not try using a different color? See what happens. You might like it. Good green eggs and ham. Just gotta try it. See if you like it. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But how do you know unless you try it? All right. Coloring in my dollar dollar bills in this. Uh, well, I live in Canada. So I can tell you right now, I don't, only our $20 bill is green. Yeah. But, the rest of our money comes in all different kinds of colors. I think in the States, America, USA, they got it all one color, but lots of places have different colors. So you can make your dollar, my point, whoa! My point <laughs> is you make your money the color that make that makes sense to you. Or make up some of your own. Maybe it's your own face on there. I don't know. Right, once you're done, you are done. You're fabulously rich octopus. And tomorrow I will see you because we are drawing Mahi Mahi. Yeah, Mahi Mahi. It's happening, guys. It's happening. All right, I'll see you in the next episode. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and I will see you tomorrow for episode 26, I mean not episode 26, day 26, I'm losing my mind, I'm so excited, I remember to like this, like this episode, yeah, help me get to 100 grand, 100,000 subscribers by sharing this video, and I will see you tomorrow. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic and I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.